Okay, I'm working the back of this molar, trying to clear the corner. I have this great opportunity that created itself to get this corner clean, so now is the time to, to do it. Part of girdling the tooth. I also have an abscess in the front, which I may have gotten to part way, but I'm going to do the back corner first, then I'm going to do that corner. And then between the two, this will be very good operation to help get this tooth back on the path to, to viability. I, I was pretty convinced this thing was a goner, but if I can get it clean, I think there's a good chance I can get it to recover. But I can't get it to recover with any calculus still left on the tooth. Everything has to go. So enough of this, you know, these partial solutions are sort of done with those. And you can see we're sort of going right to the blood here. And what we're sort of leading to with this is that on the corner of this tooth is a construction of some type. The question is, is this bone or is this some construction of calculus? Largely, I just have to say, well, you know, this is a construction of calculus. Whatever this thing is, it just has to go. So I'm making a highly judgmental call. I'm working from an edge of tooth. I just work from an edge of tooth. Just like that, see? So I'm scraping. So I've got this retreated bone. And then I get to this corner. What is this thing? This is like magic bone clinging to the corner of my tooth. That doesn't sound very realistic, does it? No, it's a big piece of calculus is what it is. When everything's clean, it's smooth. You have a smooth transition around the corner. You don't have some construction of bone clinging to your teeth. That's just not real. See, here is the issue. At some point, there is bone question is where. So what I do just to deal with this is I don't make any sweeping judgments. I mean I could, but I I generally avoid trying to make sweeping judgments. And I just focus on these things a little bit at a time. And in this case what I'm doing is I'm working the corner and I'm gradually breaking this thing off is what I'm doing. And then when I'm all done, it'll be gone. And then is there a possibility it was bone? No. And how do I know it's not? Well, well, I'm coming from the tooth. That's what's happening. See? I'm coming from the tooth. There's this thing, whatever this thing is. Okay, now, what I can also do is attempt to go around this corner. Okay, let's just say, for argument's sake, that this was bone, which it's not. But let's just say that it was. And then, to keep the tooth, I had to sacrifice a small piece of bone. Would that be a worthwhile sacrifice? I would say yes. A little piece of bone you're never even going to see. Okay, so now I smooth this area out. Now I try to break off the corner. I don't want to scrape off the corner. This is too much work. Not to be careful that I don't catch the, the cap. Okay, there's a lot of work here. Okay, ideally, I would like to take this into a finished stage, if I can manage it. Take a look. About three big pieces, about maybe 10 or 12 medium-sized pieces. And then if you add it all up, it ends up somewhat significant. Okay, I'm going to go back to the 3-4. I'm going to try to work this corner. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get a clean corner. Now, even if it means sacrificing a little bit of imaginary bone, which I don't think exists. See, as I go in here, what's going on is I'm getting fairly decent access. Okay, I'm coming to the corner. What I can try to do is smooth the tooth leading into the questionable piece. And then there's some, let's just say there's some bone issues here. I'm not completely convinced that this is calculus at some, at some point. I get it smooth, and then I'm saying, you know, what is this? Is it bone, or is it calculus? I don't have to answer that question. I stick to the tooth. I smooth along. Yeah, okay, there. Okay, it looks like there is still some bone there. It would be possible for me to start to accidentally tug on that bone, which I certainly don't want to do. So what I can do is come in with this sickle, come along the bone level. I think I can do this. 
Largely, this will finish it off. I come along the edge of the bone. I smooth along the edge of the bone as low as I can go. What will likely happen is I'll get to what will feel like gum. I smooth that edge. I come around to the corner. Once I get to the corner, I pull up the corner, and then that's, that's it. I did it. Presuming I can get this thing in there. I could also do it with the, with the small one, too. Yeah, this should work. Okay, so I come along the tooth. Yeah, this fine. This will work. I come along the tooth. It's called a root finding. I just go back and forth. Just don't let me knock off the cap, please. You see, this is where I get the problem. I'm coming in here. Here's this edge. What is this? Is this calculus? Or is it bone? And what it likely is, it's hard to tell, really. It's calculus stuck into the bone. Or maybe who knows? Maybe just calculus. Who's to say what it is? So what I do is I come in right along the edge of the tooth, and that's that. Okay? No apologies. If I'm digging a trench in bone, I'm digging a trench in bone. Me or it? If it has to make a sacrifice, that's what it has to do. If I get blood, that's calculus. Okay, I'm not completely happy, but I'm fairly happy. Use my portfolio of sickles. Now the other thing I can do, which I haven't done, is as long as I'm here, I can do the other tooth too, the second molar. Kind of foolish not to, really. Let's smooth that out. Yeah, so here's some more. So that's the second molar. So I'm basically going far afield from my original plan, but, but that's okay. Because I did get another abscess. Let's use the longer langer. I've been working on this gap for close to two hours, just from what it looks like. Maybe even longer. Not even my original gap. Like I said, I really want to finish it. Oh. And again, here's something I really don't want to do, which would be the inside corner as well. Why should I save that for another day, hmm? I and mean, if you think about it, shouldn't I do that now too? Even if I don't want to? Okay, there's another piece. The other thing about the calculus at the bone level, there may not really be an answer. You know, there's the question, is it bone? Is it calculus? How can you tell? If it gets too aggressive, then you're attacking bone. If you're not aggressive enough, then you leave calculus behind. So, you know, part of this is just you try to do the best you can. And if there's a, a little bit of calculus left on the bone, well, th that's just unfortunate. So, you know, who's to say what's, what's right and what's wrong? But certainly you can't leave major constructions in the field. That, that you cannot do. Um, let's work on this from the inside. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to draw the curette across the field. Here. Lots of stuff. More. A lot of stuff. <laughs> Long way to go. Okay, same thing. I'm just going to try to draw the curette across the field. That's all. See how, uh, see how bloody it is? See if I left that stuff behind? That wouldn't be good. See, this is the whole idea. Right as I'm ready to quit, it's ready to get started. 